All right, here we go, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Here's what we got going on today. <laughs> Can you guess what happened to this uh, axe handle? Yeah, we were out. For those of you just maybe joining us, uh, we heat uh, with wood on the homestead here. We have an outdoor uh, wood boiler here, and this is my axe I keep outside, and the handle finally let go. So I'm going to show you today how to remove uh, an axe head from a broken handle. So that's going to be today's video, so stick around. should be fun. thing obviously we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off our uh, it's kind of ironic I still go by it but you should always have some type of over strike collar um, on your axe handles I just put this duct tape on it because it started to slide on me but anywho um, basically what an over strike collar does is if you miss let's say you're splitting wood like this right and you miss the log and the log hits here it'll crack your handle I mean obviously that's what happened here but anyways um always have an overstrike collar on so let's go ahead and uh take this off here all right so now that we got this off we're obviously going to hang on to this because we're going to put the same size handle on it so we're going to reuse this so let's go ahead and put it over there in the other pile but yeah look at the split wow that's pretty gnarly all right so what we're going to do next we're going to cut this off right here so what you can see here is we have three screws here because the head started to, the axe started to split before. So this was kind of like my attempt to somewhat secure it. But anyways, let's cut this right off here. What we're gonna use is uh, I like um, I'm a fan of these. Uh, it doesn't have to be Dewalt, but I like these uh, pull saws. They have the ripping edge and then they have the cross cutting edge. So I'm a real big fan of these. These cut through like butter. So let's go ahead and uh, zip this off right under the head here. All right, so that's the aftermath. You can clearly see this is the broken part here, but this from here on out, this is still good handle. You know, big Fawn's foot at the end. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this off right here, right at the uh, point where it stopped to break. And uh, we're gonna hang on to this because you never know what you'll need a uh, tool handle for. So let's go ahead and um, cut this off. All right, so here's what we're left with. This is obviously, we can burn that. Um, but look at this nice little, nice little link here. I mean, obviously it's a rounded head, so maybe some type of hammer. Um, I don't know, but it's a good size. You still obviously got the big Fawn's foot in the end. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little boiled linseed oil on this, and we're gonna put it in the uh, handle bucket for another day. That's my handle bucket. All right, so obviously we're left with our ax head here. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to try to get that wedge out. So I'll show you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll show you what you can do to try to get that uh, wedge out of there. All right, this is what I do. I'm sure uh, other people do, but I basically just get a 3 8 paddle bit and um, kind of want to just bore in without, obviously, you don't want to hit it, but... Kind of want to bore in right uh, right next to the wedge there, just like that. Okay, now what I do next is take a uh, a little punch here. And see if you can uh, knock this wedge free. See, we got the wedge to wiggle a little bit. Oh, I don't know how well you can see that, but. So what we can do is take a, take a screwdriver here and kind of, there we go. 
Now we got a cross wedge out. You can always clean up this edge. You can reuse these. I mean, they're a dime a dozen, but uh, you can reuse this if you wanted to. But anyways, we got that out of here. Let's go ahead and uh, sink more holes in with the paddle bit. So I've done this before. The issue is you can bore all the way through, but the problem is it's still tough to get this wedge out. So what I actually want to do is get the coping saw in here. So let's do that right now. All right, so now you can see we put the coping saw through the actual, we undid it and fed it through the actual ax head. So now this allows us to carefully, we can carefully cut through. As you saw before, we cut some of this wood with the coping saw. So now if I go in there with the screwdriver, you can see that this wood is starting to this wood is starting to loosen up. So let's make a few more cuts with the coping saw probably here and here, and then that way that should free up the axe head. So hopefully the lighting isn't too bad, but you see how we got these fibers moved? Now that frees up, frees up space. You see what I'm saying? So now we can break these fibers up here, just like that. It's only a matter of time till this pops out. All right, let's see if we can break these fibers here. I'll tell you, hickory is a very resilient, resilient wood. Here we go. Let's tighten this a little bit. See all that? Fibers. Now, like I said, it's only matter of time till everything else wants to uh, follow suit. Yep, and there it is, see? Boom. We can, uh, yep, right there. See, we're an absolute pain, but just one more, uh, one more piece stuck in there. There we go. See, just like that. Not bad. All right, so let's recap. We got the wood out. That was pain. Not gonna lie, that was a little, a little rough. As you can see, you know, that wood was wedged in there good. But just to recap, drill some holes, run your coping saw through, as you saw here, it's obviously a part now, but run the coping saw through, cut till you break, um, like if I zoom in, cut till you break the wood, move over maybe half an inch, cut till you almost hit the metal, then take the screwdriver, break that. As soon as you break that, think of the ax head like a, a circle even though it's an oval. As soon as you break a link in that chain, let's pretend this is a chain. As soon as you break a link in that, you should be able to, like I did, to just pry it out with a screwdriver. All right, so that pretty much takes care of that. We freed up our uh, ax head here. Again, this is my like rugged, I guess, truck ax, if you will. This is the one that sits out in the uh, wood pile that if I need to split something from out there, uh, I don't have to go in the shed. But what's interesting too, if you look here, um, these are two different handles. 
um, I've replaced two axes um, over however long ago, but these are two handles that broke and I cut off. It, it's interesting to see, like, you can see that they both split almost the same. Uh, how well, I don't know how well I can, oh boy. I don't know how well you could see this without me giving myself splinters, but um, you can kind of see there that they both split right down to almost the same point. I don't know. Very interesting. But anyways, um, we're going to use these for something. I'm not sure yet, um, but this will be coming up in a future video once I figure out what I want to do here. So again, put those in the handle bin. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, just trying to stay busy here on the homestead. We just got another like eight inches of snow. I was planning on going out in the woods, but we got landlocked again with some more snow. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you in the next one.